And we return to the city of Mobius. Uh, I am, Hi. of course, your host, Duhad, but not your GM, because that is Belial. Hi. And we are also joined by Defrog as the only other player. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we are... Yo. The only real reason I'm making, like, a uh, big intro out of this, uh, even though this is just part two of a, of a session and these are all going up in order anyway, uh, is because I just wanted to make it clear from before something Belial kind of pointed out. Um, wh- when I said this is going to be a two-parter, I didn't mean two episodes. I meant two recording sessions. So obviously uh, this is this is episode two from week one. Uh, there will be a second week uh, of episodes. So there'll probably be like two, three, four hours of the game this week and then likewise next week uh just making that clear so continuing yeah well you guys just you know checked in both have keys to your hotel and you know it's scandalous how how you men and women are together in the room <laughs> most unorthodox very unorthodox royston <laughs> but yeah um as you're the walking, society will have so much to say. <laughs> yeah, as as you're walking through the the first floor, you end up um, passing what looks to be a family um, with an actual kid, something you haven't seen before. It's, it's what is actually like a child. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a child there. I thought the city was uh, entirely devoid of families. Uh, excuse me. Mr. S- uh, is it a man or a woman who's with the kid? Yes. There's both. Oh, there's both. Bo- okay, both parents are with the kid. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, are you a recent resident of Mobius? Uh, yes. Did you and your entire family arrive here at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. We did. Did. Do you have any memory of how you got here? No. No, I, I don't. Do, do you know if you and your family were together when you, well, during your last memories before arriving here in Mobius? Uh, yes. Yes. Ah, thank you. Sorry to, sorry to take up your time. Okay. Did anyone else arrive with you? Uh, I think a couple of people. Maybe? I can't remember. Um, yeah. It's been a, it's, it's been a bit. Um, yeah. That's entirely fair. Thank you again for your time, sir. It, yeah. uh, we we are just new arrivals ourselves and are trying to uh, better understand our new situation. All right. Yeah, you, you take care. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, All right, take By the way, when we've been walking through this hallway, um, Alfred has been counting room. Yeah, you, you've counted uh, about 30 so far. And this is just on one floor? On one side. And yes, this is one floor. Um, something that's common is after a couple of rooms, there is a hallway that goes inward. So you imagine that this is sort of like a grid format for the floor to be very efficient. Hmm. Yeah. It says there was only a few hundred people, but there's got to be more than on this floor alone it's entirely possible they're planning for countless individuals you know countlessly more individuals than uh, have currently arrived i'm well i should suppose i should explain why i want to see the mayor so badly i want to find the oldest current living resident in mobius and find out if well the first residents uh, the, the oldest re- uh, living residents remember who came here first if Mobius has been here longer than anyone who currently lives here, or this is a relatively recent uh, situation. Mm. I have a hypothesis that this city is a new construct, and that uh, while it seems to be divorced from linear time, that there is a timeline that is being followed by whatever being or god or man is responsible for all of this. And that they have, you know, in their own version of time, recently uh, engaged in this great undertaking. And if that's the case, well, I'd like to know why. (laughs) 
I was expecting Alfred to you respond know? or something. Yeah. No, no, he, he actually... It, it, he pauses for a bit. You know, I'd actually like to know the answer to that question, too. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, then, uh, then we push forward on towards, uh, you know, uh, you know, the stairs. Yeah, you you push forward onto the stairs, and uh, and uh, you you don't notice a cart that slams into your leg. Gah! Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, it's fuck. it's quite all right. I can't bend down. There, like yeah. some food falls on the ground. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, Thorn Thorn kind of like awkward. Alfred like, actually yeah. bends down to help pick it up. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, th- this is a a guy, by the way. Um. Sorry, uh, name's Baldred. Uh, Sawed off he, Baldred? What? Sorry, meant to dumb joke. <laughs> he he holds out his uh, hand. <laughs> I, I, I have I, no I, idea who that is. <laughs> it's a black adder reference. Sorry. Uh, I, uh, I yeah, I take his hand and shake it. Yeah. Uh, take it. You're uh, you're new here, based on the fact that you're not in a mm-hmm. uniform. Uh, yes, we're both recent arrivals. Yeah, right. Cool. 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 That's that's always... Well, I mean, not good. Um, hey. Um, hmm. I have an... I, I, I have a, an, an idea. Um, sure, you I'm both good. seem capable enough. <laughs> okay, go, go, go on, sorry. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Try not oh. to make Baldrick references. Yeah, god damn it. <laughs> if I if I knew I would have not had the character's name be this, but whatever. I have um, plans. Fucking hell. Yeah, but um he's like, I I have an idea. If uh if you could just he looks uh back and forth real brief. Um how about um whenever you Decide to go back to your room. Uh, order, uh, order something off of the um, the dietary menu. Um, Very for well. room service. I and, will. Uh, to to see if we'll if we'll uh, y- you you want to talk more about something. Fair uh, enough. Well, yeah. uh, then we will we will do so, uh, Baldric. Uh, Baldrid. We, Baldrid, of course. Sorry. You just remind me of someone. Uh, yes, we will. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have a word with you later, per- uh, perhaps. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The uh, he he thanks both of you for for helping him pick up the thing, and then he scoots by on the uh, on the cart. Uh, and and very shortly after, you reach uh, what seems to be the stairs on the edge of the uh, edge of the building. Like the most inconvenient most fucking suspicious. stair plane. This is odd. Architect must have been drunk. I imagine it might be something a little different than that. It seems that this uh it was stoned, what's your point? Oh, uh, it's just that I don't think that's it either. I feel like Everything in this city is so strange and yet seems so purposeful. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a reason behind this as well, but for the love of me, I can't. I, I couldn't give you an idea as to why. <laughs> Extra exercise? I suppose so. Well, I've never been one to shy away from a good constitutional, so shall we off? Yeah. Funny, I thought you Brits really uh, got annoyed when we did that. Oh, har har, you are very witty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I take off up He the starts st- walking up the stairs. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Uh, the second floor is very similar, although you can very much tell this is a much smaller floor because the pyramid shape. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, the stairs actually continue up um, from there if you wanted to keep going up uh, floors. 
right. Um, uh, what floor is our room supposed to be on? Uh, your your floor is the floor that your room is supposed to be on is the third. Yeah, uh, Alfred is going to head that way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I, I was looking up towards uh, hanging up to the mayor, but I don't want to be left alone, so I quickly hurry after Alfred. <laughs> I don't want to go on an adventure and ask questions all by myself. <laughs> I mean, that would be rude. That would be very rude. Well, it's, well, I'm an unescorted woman. Yes, it's very... Oh, God. It's a bit unorthodox. It's so unsafe. Well, I'm, I'm fearless, but I'm also, you know, proper. I don't want to just run off on my own and... You end up in a compromising situation, so I'm I'm going with Alfred. <laughs> but we can see the rooms uh, before we we go up to see the mayor. Yeah. The uh, yeah, the rooms are about the similar to the uh, the floor below. Um, very samey. You look at the number on yours. You you end up taking a couple of turns, and uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you end up taking a couple of turns, and you end up finding your room, uh, which is um, floor three, room uh, room uh, one thirty six. Hmm. Uh, well, the uh, I I give it a quick knock just to make sure that it's like you know it hasn't been a mistake and we're about to barge into someone else's room. Nope. No answer. Eat a door, open door. Yeah, uh, yeah. You uh, uh since uh, wait in the nineteen seventies, did they have key cards? Um, no, no. The um, magnetic strip cards. Would... Mm. Actually, there there was a slight bit of that sort of technology going on. Uh huh. And while it's not widespread at that point, he is part of the military. Um, and he used technical equipment. Mm -hmm. That is actually entirely fair. All right, good, because then it would have been funny having you guys roll brains check, uh, like just checks to <laughs> know the basic idea of you need to swipe this card <laughs> in order to <laughs> unlock the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it, at least you can do that. So, like, Don Thorne is, like, really confused Click. by, like, yeah. that, and then he just quickly does it. Yeah, like, oh, uh, that's rather clever. Mm-hmm. You, uh, yeah, you, you open up the, uh, the room, and, um, and the room's pretty nice, and, and pretty spacious, too. If, uh, you know, if you're in a more, uh, modern setting, this is a pretty large, like, this is, this is, like, a, uh, a three-bedroom apartment sort of size. Pretty fucking huge huh. for what you'd expect. Even Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've never been myself. Um, actually, come to think of it, the uh, the size of uh, the area does that kind of correspond with the doors on in the hallways? Uh, not quite. You you get the feeling that there's a bit of a weird space thing going on, like. Because overall, the shape of the uh, of this thing is very square, and you get the feeling mm -hmm. that there should, it, it, by, by the way that it's shaped, there should be some sections jutting into other rooms. I'll be honest; yeah. I don't entirely understand the architecture of this place. <laughs> the angles are wrong. And so it would seem. I hesitate to... Uh... I'm going to take a look around. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, well, you uh, you like open the closet, and in there you see um, assorted, very same-looking clothing. Like something that they probably expect you to wear. Uh, hello, cat. They expect you to, uh, to, uh, to wear when you're not at work. Uh, and and, and it, there's no particular gender for either of it. It just seems to be, you know, the same. Yeah. Uh, Doc, Doc, like, holds up one of the outfits and, like... Uh, at this, uh, Alfred is... 
grab a hanger of it, hold it out so the doc can see it, point at it, and go, scandalous? Oh, it's a bit form fitting. <laughs> yes. He, he puts it back on, on, turns around, and goes, yeah, so is my flight suit, and he smacks his ass. <laughs> yeah, she, she, and then she turns bright red, and it's like, <laughs> my god, man, you have no shame. <laughs> no. Right, well, as long as that's out of the way. We're all on the same page when it comes to that. <sighs> Lord. The people who come from your time Look, period... Look, when be... you're out fighting a war, there isn't much time for shame. I've met military gentlemen before, and they tend to have at least a little bit more, you know, dignity. A little bit more class. <laughs> For that stiff upper lip that the British are known for. <laughs> a good attitude and a proper what? sense of propriety is not something to be ashamed of. <laughs> you Yangs could learn something. He for smiles me. at this. Look, lady, <laughs> lady. When it gets right down to it, I just don't put on the face. Not in the service, anyway. Back home, that's a different matter. Yeah, she shades her head. Well, considering our current situation, you could possibly consider this to be back at home. It wouldn't kill you to be at least a little bit. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this ain't Montana. Well, it's not England either, but we're both going to have to make do. It wouldn't kill you to be a little Toto, bit... Toto, it ain't Kansas either. Yes, I'm sure it's not any of the territories, but it's still, you know, where we are now. And, again, it wouldn't kill you to be at least a little bit more polite and proper. Has anyone actually gone ahead and complained? Uh, I'm acting outside of you. No, I suppose not, but... <sighs> he licks his finger and draws a point in the air. Fine, point taken... Fine, maybe it's a problem that I have with it, but I don't know. It's a... this is all very sudden and very. I'm messing strange. with you, lady. Right, I, I know it's just, well, it's it's a lot to take in, and the the academic. By the way, while he's doing this, he's continuing it, through the place. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Um, you... It kind of looks like a '90s to 2000s home. Uh, almost in terms of aesthetic, like uh, you see, a, like a box TV, not like a modern plasma or you know, like one of those old ass looking ones. It's like a box TV that ran from the like, late 80s or 90s. Hey kids, even though most of our viewers are like 20 to 30, he actually pokes at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually pokes at the TV. Huh, that got a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um there's you know coffee machine it seems to be a pretty fully stocked um uh, uh fully stocked uh kitchen sort of thing and uh there, there's a pretty nice bathroom with a shower right yeah. seems to be all you need to, to get by really yeah uh so 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 as you continue to investigate doc sits down on the bed with the science says, listen i I don't mean to be a stick in the mud. I, you just have to understand, I intellectually understanding and, and coping with the academic side of, of everything that's happened, that I can do. That I've always been good at being able to do. But as much as I've always chafed into the society that I lived in, this is a lot to take in. Even if it's not all bad, it's still... It's difficult. It's, it's very strange. I feel like I feel like Aladdin, you know, making wishes on a lamp and and having them answered in in ways I never expected and and ways that aren't unpleasant per se but are still strange. <laughs> she yeah folds her hands in on her lap. See that kind of like. Yeah, fiddles with her thumbs as she lets down them. It's just... I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude or 
pro or give you any problems. It's just, it's just difficult. It's a difficult adjustment. Yeah. He sits down on. Uh, a... Yeah. It's weird here. Well, for whatever it's worth, you seem like a pretty stable sort of man to have around in a strange situation like this. You're... Uh, I'm sure I'll break down crying some other time. <laughs> well, uh, try not to try not to do so too soon. But... I'm not exactly used to dealing with young men uh, showing any sort of emotion around me. <laughs> Oh, not right about now. Too much to do. Though, um, Doc. Yes? If you want another thing that'll just go ahead and blow your mind, two years ago, mine time, we landed on the moon. <laughs> yeah, she heard her mouth just draw seven. No. <laughs> yep. The moon. Oh, I love this. This conversation the moon. is so great. Oh. H how? With a cannon? Landed on it twice more. How did you get back? With a rocket. Like a, like a Chinese With firework. a rocket. Well, I didn't go. Wow. Or yes, how did much you, bigger. Did, did you have a second one prepared on the moon to get back with? No. Uh, they brought their rocket with them, and then they flew back... I'll be honest, I don't understand all the workings of it, but I mean it takes more energy to go up than it does to come down. I, I think that's part of it. That's God, that's astonishing. Human beings managed to do that. <laughs> yeah. Even better, he points at the TV. Broad across the world pictures and voices from it she's just like smiling now she's like beaming like oh my god like that's that's incredible that, that's you know yeah that, that was a day you must be a paradise the, this future that you come from <laughs> oh no no I mean no. like but you you've found a way to, you know, accomplish things that I could only, you know, possibly dream of in wild fantasies. You've connected together with, with people across the world. I mean, how is war even possible once you've managed that, once you've managed to break down those barriers? humans are still humans. But with everything we've accomplished, how, how could you possibly come to hate someone else when you are able to reach out and talk to them to see them to to understand their language and and to see them as as another person as another human being he just shakes his head yeah she's let okay. me tell you about the holocaust oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she, you know, she, she just lowers her head and, and kind of sighs. Like, I guess, I guess it's too much to ask for, you know, everything to just magically work itself out. But I, I still think it's incredible what you've achieved. What yep. Your people of your time have achieved. I'm glad that I don't know if it's even my future anymore. If, if we end up here for the rest of our lives, but I'm glad that that the future of the people who I who I you know knew who I who I understood the you know my family's you know the young family members that they're going to one day experience a world or well, at least their children or their children's children will they'll see a world of marvels and beauty as opposed to a uh, well. A choking, you know, coal-fueled, you know, nightmare and a looming threat of of war with, uh, you know, war with the Eastern powers. Jeez. 
Well, for what it's worth, it looks like you're going to get to see at least a part of that. Oh, well, that's... That, he points at the TV, is better than anything I ever saw. Well, I guess we both get to see something new. Uh, she, she actually kind of down her, her clothes and says, um, Alfred, would, would you mind terribly if I tried changing to something a little bit um, more mobile? If I'm going to be running around up and down staircases, this um, dress is a little bit uh, cumbersome. He shrugs. Doesn't bother me. Right. Uh, all right. Just. Right. Just don't stare. And he goes and gets one of the uniforms, one of the bulkier, more, uh, you know. Like, he shakes his head and looks away. Don't worry. I won't sneak a peek. No, I'm, I'm yeah. not here. I'm going to use the restroom. God. Yeah. Watch her thing. Keep in mind, this is like a three room apartment size place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, yeah. And she's like, no, I'm going to. In private, just, I mean, don't stare when I come back out again. He just kind of waves his hand. <laughs> yeah, so she, she's going to go in the, in, in, and change into uh, into slightly more modern attire. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, what, what what is the bulkiest outfit that 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 is in the closet? Um, long sleeve shirt and pants, basically. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, well then, she yeah, she grabs the largest pair of those she can and, and changes, and uh, comes out looking very uncomfortable and very embarrassed. Mm-hmm. How scandalous! Don't look; it's very tight. Just, well, not really tight. It's actually it's actually pretty comfortable, but it's insert anime boobs. Yeah, no. <laughs> insert. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, in, in like she's still got uh, she's still got like a corset on underneath and and all that, but she's just like she's ditched the the big, you know, overdress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's like, well, this is, I mean, admit it's actually rather, actually rather, uh, actually rather comfortable comparatively. It's very light, very breathing, breathy. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, we should. Yeah, actually. What kind of clothing appear to be made of? Uh, some kind of cotton. Just some kind of cotton sort of thing. Hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Nothing too out there. They look like kind of comfy clothes. <laughs> They're, they're they're plastic based polyfibers. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They're totally they're um fucking uh, what is it called? Zoot suits. What, what's no? What's what's the thing that um is it velvet? Oh, velvet. Okay. What, what's it? Oh no, they're they're felt. They're the fucking shit that the uniforms are made of in Star oh, Trek. Oh god, yeah, like felt suits. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they're not made of that. But <laughs> they're all they're, <laughs> worse, worse Alfred yet, they're puts all... on one firmly. God. Grabs the waist and pulls down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, there's the, the, um, the start. The aesthetics of this place is almost as if some some game master placed it here intentionally. It's so weird. Um, says, well, we should um, we should go and try and see the mayor now. If uh, if you're up, if you're feeling up to it. Yeah, sure. Um, he looked around for that uh, room menu. Oh yeah, there, there's a menu there. It's right by the the uh, the phone. It, it, while she was, you know, going through that, uh, if he could have been taking a look through it. Oh yeah. See what's you know actually. It's a pretty fucking big menu. Like pretty thick. Um. Obviously, Doc Thorne would probably be astounded by the um, by yeah, the number of meals in there, yeah. uh, they each with different hmm. categories. She hasn't heard of half of these, and yeah, yeah. And most of the ones many of the man, some of these sound Oriental. Yes, there's many, uh, many strange foreign <laughs> cuisines. Yeah, but yeah, is it just food in there, or are there other things as well? Um, like like what? 
like drinks options. Well, and, I don't know, oh, like, like drinks and all well, that. No, that. I was getting at it. Is it like food and drink only, or are there like other services in this as well? Because um, he mentioned the dietary menu. Oh yeah. Uh, well, at the at the very back, you can see that um, there's like very short list of other services. Uh, you get the feeling that then uh, this place is mostly encouraging for people to get out of it. But yeah, there, there's the dietary menu, which is pretty small. Uh, and then there's the uh, uh, and then there's the uh, there's like order the masseuse sort of thing. Just a couple of like more re um, relaxing things that most people would get. Yeah, not not a whole lot aside from food. Okay. Yes. You yeah. didn't want to chat at first? Oh, yes, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, let's order the dietary menu, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I should, I should, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do realize the dietary menu is just healthy food, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Diet food. All right. I... <laughs> Like she, she, she's just like okay, that's a weird way of phrasing it, but yes, of course, let's get the food, the edible food, food. <laughs> There's something called dieting. What's that was dieting? actually the reason why I asked. Yeah, yeah. No, she's confused by it, but she's like, okay, sure, let's order off of the edible food menu of food. That, you know, <laughs> yes, the dietary option, the things that humans eat, of course. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I, I, I love I it. What's love this it. menu for Gleep Glorks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So they have options for non, non-humans. non I see. So we should order the human food. Uh, we, should, we should order a... I'd like a side of human. Hey, look! The Xenomorph part of the menu has human. <laughs> it's human. It's human on it. It's one of the foods. To wow. ser- it's a human menu. It's, it's under the section that's listed to serve man. <laughs> 99 ways to prepare to prepare man god god I love it but yeah so, so um, you're gonna yeah, order we, we, we order sign up the dietary menu alright well it, it, it takes a few you can guess minutes yeah. I mean obviously like the wall, um, in at least in these, uh, in this place, has a clock that seems to only be on the uh, time of just the hotel. Uh, all right. It doesn't have like the five different clocks like the uh, like the front desk has. Yeah. Yeah. So we're so. Uh, yeah waiting for the the food to arrive. Doc Thorne asks. Uh, so. It, you know, the the family that we saw earlier, it actually sort of had me wonder. Uh, I, sorry, I'm sorry if this sounds a bit rude, but I, I should, I, you know, feel, feel bad asking. Are, are you leaving anyone behind right now? Uh, you know, any any children or? Nah, she sent me a Dear John. Uh, dear John? Um, it's a uh, nice way of saying a letter where they break up with you because you're at war. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. That's that's dreadful. Were Back you, in my day. Uh, Back in my day, you just stuck with it. <laughs> you, you drank the loneliness. You drank the sadness and tried not to think about it. Jesus. <laughs> no, she's... Uh, yeah, like, um, were you close or... I mean, obviously... He he just kind of waves it off. Yeah. I'm... No, it's, I'm, I'm very sorry uh, for your... For your... I, I school, sweetheart. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Probably a stupid idea to hang on as long as I did. That's... She probably wouldn't have an idea of what high school... Yeah, no, she, she's like some school sort of... Like, yeah, some sort of higher education school-based thing. Ah, so like a, a university. Of course. <laughs> no. Huh. Oh, uh, is it a form of uh, lower education, uh, elementary, like a uh, uh, you know public uh, schooling system thing? 
private tutoring? Yeah. Ah, well, I think it's actually rather romantic. Uh, obviously, sorry, it didn't work out, but, you know, it's a nice thought. Boy, well, I wonder where that food is that we ordered. Yeah, <laughs> you hear the... Oh my god, this is so adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a great campaign. I love it. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, Dr. By Lincoln. the way, Albert just continues laughing about this. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Uh, Brunson at the door is like, oh yes, hello. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, Baldrick. Baldrich. How are you? Baldrick. Baldrick. Bald Bald yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, here's your food, by the way. Um, oh, thank you. He, he closes the door lightly behind him. Yeah. So... You are willing to... We'd be very interested in hearing what you... Talk? Say. Yes, talk, yes. All right. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure. Um, so... You know, you, you probably know, based off of what you've seen here, that this isn't normal life. I, yes, no, it's very unorthodox. Mm-hmm. You see, you know, what I'm thinking is that this is some sort of experiment. You know? I was actually thinking something very similar. Uh, great minds, I suppose. Yeah. Do you have any idea who might be performing this experiment? Well, I mean, uh, but you looked at your map, right? You have a map? Uh, well, uh... My, my... This Alfred pulls it out of his uh, kneeboard pocket and opens it up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, put, put it right there. Um, that building right there, uh, he, he points at the large circle, not the... Uh, the Clifford's one in the center of the city, but on the far right, if you're looking at your map. Um, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he points there and he says, this is the STEM building. We heard the mayor sometimes goes there, but that we weren't supposed to uh, visit him at the time. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't matter. I, they, whatever. Um, we're not visiting the mayor. Well, eh, well it was depends. I'm really hoping to have a word with him. But I guess, but I, I really don't want to talk to the mayor. Um, why would you want to avoid the mayor? Well, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he has something to do with this. Oh. That would make sense, yes. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. This is weird. Um, gosh. Yeah, the, uh, this is just weird to me. Uh, I, I haven't been able to find, like, anyone, and I kind of just saw the military uniform and just thought, hey, uh, this might be a chance to get out. You know? Uh, do you think there's a way... Where are you from? Uh, I'm from... Uh, well, what, what do you mean? When are you from? Oh, I thought you said where. Um, well, uh, 1993. Hmm. Good note. Yeah, he points over at the towel. How normal does that look to you? He point, you pointed to which? The television? At the, the TV. Yeah, that just looks like a normal TV. Okay. Anyone here who came from uh, from later on than you? Um, I think there are a couple people that come from like the late 90s. Uh, but... For the most part, that that's where it kind of stopped. No one else from the uh, after the turn of the millennium. No. 
do you know who the, uh, the, uh, well, earliest chronological, you know, Earth time resident's from? Uh, well, I, I wasn't here, but, um, I know that they're just, like, a, I know one of the, some of the earlier loads, uh, learning from some of the, some of the people, like, uh, you know, like, uh, like Yava or, or whatever. Uh, oh, I, I should probably say, uh, Yava's the, the guy that, that works on the fireworks. You probably haven't heard them yet, but, yeah, uh, oh. yeah, um, Either way, uh, Yava Yava's the guy. He he he's like some old World War Two Japanese guy. That uh, Wait, there have been two world wars. Oh shit! Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what what did you... I meant when I said we saved your asses in two of them? I was hoping you were exaggerating. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, on, if I'm being honest about it, I had a history uh, teacher who went on about how technically your Napoleonic ones technically would count as the first one. Oh, good. Oh. There have been That's... three world conflicts. Huh. Bully. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I count the cold uh, one. Apparently the, 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 the first loads were mostly kids. I see, and they came from earlier in the, uh, Earlier in, in in history, chronologically speaking, they, yeah, uh, sometime in the eighties, I think. The eighties, nineteen eighties, or the eighteen eighties. Nineteen eighties. So in that case, there's. Do you know anyone else from before the uh, turn of the century? It seems most uh, of the people here come from the nineteenth century. Yeah, I think most of them are from the nineteenth century, but uh, I think there's a. Probably a couple. I can't really think uh, of any. Quick point of order: twenty. You're from the nineteenth century. Right. Sorry. This. Right. Mm -hmm. The nineteenth. Yeah. Sorry. From the twentieth century is what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. 20th. Stupid. Based on the ending of the century, not the <laughs> start of it. Gosh. But yeah. But feel uh, from the yeah like this, everyone's, everyone's from the twentieth century. Ha! Huh, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Curiouser and curiouser. A smile, a smile spreads across the cell. Congratulations, Doc. You're the oldest. <laughs> I feel honored. Yeah. Uh, I I didn't get your names, by the way. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, my name is Doctor Cassandra Thorne. This is uh, my friend. <clears throat> he smiles at that. Warrant Officer Alfred Shockley. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, like I said, I'm I'm Daldred. And how long have you been here? Uh, by this place's record um, of time. Well, uh, I, I think a few years actually. Hmm. I see. And then, all right. So, what? Is your plan, uh, if you don't mind me being so bold? Well, I mean, first the the idea is to sneak into uh, into the mayor's bachelor suite. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, and then you know, grab grab some some things from there and about, and then uh, what what I was thinking is that. Um, it, you've also seen it on your map. I don't know how much you've looked at the map or anything, but I, I've been here for quite some time. So, um, the power center, which is um, over by the STEM building, over over here, points at the map. I imagine you just have it laid down on like a counter or a table or, or like a coffee table or something, and uh, and he's just pointing at the map. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. He he points at it and he's like that. That's the power building. Um, what I'm thinking is uh, is we break into there, and then uh, disable the power before uh, in order to distract them, and then uh, 
you know, while everyone's distracted and all security are there, uh, we might be able to get into the STEM building. And I think there's a way out there, especially since it's the only place that's so heavily guarded. I see. And yes, uh, why do you want out? I, well, I, I have family out there. There's no guarantee that you'd come back out at the same time you went in. I I know, but you know, I, I just kind of have a hope. I uh, I can appreciate that. Yeah. So you want us to help you try to... Okay, so your, your plan is rob the mayor's apartment, sabotage the power, and get to the STEM building. Yeah. I mean, um, unless you uh, have any other plans. I mean, I, I, my plan is kind I don't of know the just... Ground. Also, I'm not entirely certain that I'm on board with this plan anyway. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. understandable. You don't think that we're being listened to right here? No. No, I don't think we're being listened to. Um, uh, Doc starts actually, like, looking around and, like, pe like, like quietly sneaking over to, like, the doors to look through the keyholes. <laughs> anyone ears dropping. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, yeah. Uh, either way. Um, Look, I, I need to know more about this place. Yeah. I, if it's anything to consider, I, you know, I, I could just follow you around, maybe help, you know, explain some stuff if if you want. Well, we, then yeah, you sure. can just That'd sit be... on it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm entirely opposed to but I want to know more, and if saying if you go back that we went in, I've got a wake-up call and getting shot at in a helicopter ahead of me. And personally, I would not exactly hate living in a place where people actually respect me at all, and where you know the you know a number of world conflicts are looming on the horizon. Apparently. Yeah, I I get you, I I get you. But you know, the, let me do this thing of of oh. helping you around the town, and then you know, well, if you decide, yeah. you know, well, uh, well, uh, what you want to uh, do. A thought occurred to me. <laughs> she, she mm -hmm. was just gonna give this like very like mildly devious smile. Like, we were planning on going up to see the mayor uh, and uh, trying to have a word with him. Uh, we could always go up there, see if he's in. If he is, we have a quick talk with him. If he isn't, uh, perhaps we could let ourselves in and help you with uh, at least one part of your plan. Oh, um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, it sounds great. Um, we'll just see if he just so happens to not be in. Winks very noticeably. <laughs> yes, we'll uh, give you a signal if uh, if he uh, if he isn't around. And uh, yeah. yeah, she like she she does like a weird thing with her hand, just like. <laughs> like like really elaborate, really obvious hand motions. You see us? Do <laughs> Alfred that will look at him like this. Hey, he's not here. I suppose it also works. <laughs> hey, Alfred looks over at, at the doctor. Do you often plan to just no, actually, laws wherever you go? She, she shrugs. I never have, but it sort of feels like this is a good time to start expanding my horizons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The impropriety, the impropriety, he says, as he walks towards the door. Yeah, she kind of turns red, but... but uh, then he stops and, uh... <laughs> he stops and looks at, uh, Baldurid. Should I be wearing those? Uh, no. 
not really. I mean, the only only time when you actually need uh, need your uniform is uh, when you get assigned a job, really. So, aside from that, I don't hey, think anyone's going to mind. Allison goes, good, I just broke this flight suit in. <laughs> Onward! <laughs> Onwards and upwards! Uh, this has been going for, uh, uh, not quite an hour, but close, very, very close to uh, an hour, and we are, uh, you know... Yeah, let's, that, uh, that can be a good end to our first uh, session. Oh, I was going to say break, but okay, yeah, sure, we can also yeah. end it there if you want. I mean, um, after all, uh, we only have two players right now. and That's fair, and, that's fair. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully pick up next week with... Uh, uh, with more people and uh, and continuing the advent- the continuing adventures in Mobius. Yep. Uh, till then, though, we wish you all a, a merry Christmas and a very merry Christmas. Apparently, <laughs> see you guys next time and a festival for the rest of us. For the rest of us. Hey. <laughs> all right. Till next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.